Why hello and what is going on guys, Tomcat here, and in today's Spin Tires video I have a vehicle that I'm sure all of you will be very curious to see, and uh, why the reason why I've started so far out with the camera is so I can zoom in little bit by little bit so you guys can realize how freaking huge this damn bulldozer is. It is absolutely gigantic. You can't really even compare it to pretty much any other vehicle uh, that I've been, like, that I've driven lately. Like, it's, it's absolutely nuts. It's got three different add-ons. It's got this one, and it's got this one, and as well, it's got a ripper in the back. Now, why is this a cool vehicle? Well, Obviously, if you are eight years old, and it is a bulldozer, and it is the most awesome thing in the exist in existence of everything you know to mankind. But the thing is, I know not a lot of my viewers are eight years old. However, however, we were all eight years old at one point in time, which means that we all we all also have a bit of a uh, a bit of a thing for bulldozers still, or at least we should. We we sh we should because it definitely kind of connects a bit with the uh, with the inner eight year old and all of us and this thing really has properly working tracks. I mean, look at this with the diff unlocked, it will break one track and turn the other track, and it really functions just like an actual bulldozer, which is unlike pretty much anything that I've driven uh, in spin tires. Now the sticks don't really like it. Um, I'm actually gonna see if we can kind of clear the area of sticks using said bulldozer. The only thing is, uh, can we? Thank you. First thing, alright, raise and lower. Is that as low as it'll go? Okay, tilt. Ah, yes, there we go. Now, let's drive it forward. We have to, there we go. Oh no, we can push them. We can push the sticks. So we really, oh god, some of them freak out. Some of them freak out, but we can actually use it to clear areas. So it actually somewhat does work. It somewhat functions like a somewhat realistic bulldozer. <laughs> it's actually really funny to be doing this in spin tires because you never, ever use any vehicles really for this purpose. Although, you really can, like, you, look at this, we're really, like, properly clearing now. And I suppose if you wanted a vehicle for that purpose, then this is really, really good for that. You can clear out all of this little, like, the brush and debris around your, uh, around your main garage base. And again, like I said, it's not really the, the, the main objective of spin tires, it's not really the point of the game. But at the same time, it can actually be, a, be, be kind of fun. Because it's a little bit different. You know, it's a little bit different than what you normally used to. And, uh, and, and I would say... I would say kind of gives it a, like, a, kind of, kind of gives it a feel of like, oh, okay, this actually can work like a real bulldozer in the game. Like, it might not be able to, you know, you might not be able to actually have missions or mission objectives that involve said bulldozer, but at the end of the day, it is spin tires, and this is a mod that wasn't originally intended to, for the game, and to see something like this here is, is really cool, I think. It's pretty cool to me, and, um, and I like the fact that it's here. Now, let me go into advanced mode and raise this thing up real quick, just so we don't really have to worry about it scraping on the ground. Let's also see what happens if we lock the diff. Can we turn? No, you have to have the diff unlocked if you want to turn. Which makes sense, because the way they're using the diff lock, it's not really, like, necessarily a diff lock. Basically, more of what it does is it just locks the tracks together, which is sort of a diff lock but sort of not because it's not really locking a differential, it's just locking two sets of crawler tracks together, which is, like I said, it's sort of like locking a differential, but not exactly the same. So now I'm going to go ahead and cross this bridge, and I'm going to see about doing some actual, like, clearing work and seeing if it'll do it. Because if it will, oh god, well, first of all, will we even fit on the bridge? And will the tracks freak out? It looks like they are going to freak out. Oh, jeez. Well, it won't fit on the bridge, but God! It, it it doesn't need to. It, Dude, it destroys the bridge. Like, it's like, dude, I don't give a crap. You can put a bridge here, and like, you think that's gonna stop me? Bruh, I'm a freaking bulldozer. Like, are you kidding? 
All right. Lock the diff. Well, unlock the diff. Drop the blade down so we can do a little bit of work here, or attempt to do a little bit of work here. Can we move these? How about if we lock the diff? We can sort of move them, but they're really, 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 like, dude, they're in there. Holy crap. Yeah, those don't want to move, like, at all. That's picking the, the whole bulldozer up. Oh my god. Yeah, you really should use Spin Tires Plus with damage turned off when you're driving this thing. Otherwise, you could really find yourself in some trouble. A little bit of movement over here. Clear some of these trees out. Now, if we had the, the logs that were actually, like, you know, supposed to be picked up, then sure, those would be just fine. Those would be just fine. But these are not the logs that are supposed to move at all. Like, these logs, you're not supposed to touch them. Which does sort of make them a little bit cumbersome uh, to deal with because you're always having to be like, uh, are we supposed to move that or, or not? And generally, the oh god, oh god. Oh, this is not good. Oh my. Oh my. We've had a bit of an issue here. I think we might need to call a repairman about that. Jeez. It should stabilize itself momentarily. I say momentarily, I mean it it should. I don't know. It Oh god. I Dude, if this thing flips over Oh my god. We literally got it to flip over. Okay. We got it to flip over backwards. I'm actually, you know what? I'm almost legit impressed with that. Let's see what happens though if we take this off the front and we just run the ripper on the back. Does it actually like, I don't know, does it rip? <laughs> All the way down. Tilt it a little bit. It, no, it doesn't really rip anything. <laughs> It does, it's not like it rips anything, I mean, it, 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 yeah, it's just kind of, it just kind of clips through the ground. Really and truly, the Ripper is just there to, like, as far as I can tell, it's just there to look cool. Which, I understand if you want that, but at the same time, it's not really that functional. And it doesn't really, I don't know, it doesn't really, like, make that much of a difference. Now, with this thing later on, I think what I really do want to do is take it through a mud hole. So, if you also, if you guys want to check this mod out, it will be on Steam, uh, on the Steam Workshop. All you got to do is check out the recent ones, um, and if not, just look up Bulldozer, it will come up. And uh, if you enjoyed this quick mod test and review, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I will see you guys later, and I'm actually going to go get ready to, uh, to make some videos with this thing actually going through the mud and seeing what happens to it. So again, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.